In today's video, I want to answer a question that I'm getting quite often, and that is how do I export video with Dolby Atmos audio content in DaVinci Resolve Fairlight? Now, unfortunately, this is not as straightforward as it could be, but it's not that difficult either, and I'm going to show you how this is done today. But before I do that, first of all, hello everybody. In case you're new here, my name is Michael Wagner. I teach at the Westfall College of Media Arts and Design at Drexel University in Philadelphia. And on this channel, I talk about digital media, game design, and spatial audio. Audio. And if any of those things interest you, then please consider subscribing and don't forget to press the like button because of, you know, YouTube algorithms. And with that being said, let's export some video. The project that I'm going to work with today is something that I've been using for a number of videos now. It's essentially a very short uh, audio clip in Dolby Atmos. Uh, we have a bad channel, which is a 7.1.4 track. That is essentially the, uh, the drum track, really. And then we have eight individual objects. Uh, and uh, if you want to know how we exactly created it, I'm going to leave a link to the original uh, video in the description below. However, here we are just going to use that as the audio to a little video clip. And for the video, all I've really done is I've dropped a motion loop into that, uh, that video. So to accompany it, this sort of as a little music video, if you like. So let's have a brief listen on how that sounds. You might hear a little crackle at the beginning. That's sort of my, my system kind of li reaching its limits. So it's essentially this little uh, music piece and we have this little video of rotating uh, speakers. Now, in order to watch that on a PC or home theater system, for example, we would have to encode that in a way that is understood by that system. And uh, unfortunately, DaVinci Resolve doesn't really give us a lot of options that would allow us to preserve the immersive nature of the audio that, that is part of that video clip. We could, of course, always render this as a traditional video with a stereo track, but this is not really what we want to do. We want to have the audio actually being completely immersive. And for that, we would need to be able to render the audio in what's called Dolby Digital Plus with joint object coding. And unfortunately, DaVinci Resolve can't do that. Now, we already ran into the same issue when we created the quality control deliverable. Uh, and uh, that's something that I showed you how to do in a previous video. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. The way we approached it is through the use of Amazon Web Services, in particular Media Convert. And we are essentially going to do the same thing today. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that video. I'm going to render the video and the audio track separately. And then I'm going to use Amazon Web Services Media Convert in order to combine them again into something that we can then watch on a home theater the system. So let's go back into our little project and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to export the video only. Uh, so I'm going to go into the deliver page and in the deliver page I'm going to select the custom settings and in the custom settings the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I'm not uh, exporting any audio. So I, let's go into the audio tab and deselect the export audio button. Now for the next step it doesn't actually make any difference whether or not this video has audio attached to it or not. Media Convert is simply going to ignore any audio that is part of that video. But since we don't need it let's just not uh, export it. So let's just deselect that. And uh, in the video settings, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave everything alone. Um, however, please be aware that because we are going to add a secondary encoding step, you might want to choose the options that give you the highest quality video so that you have sort of a video master file. Um, uh, that will allow us, uh, that will allow you to essentially then create the uh, the highest quality deliverable with Video Convert. Um, so in your particular case, choose them so that uh, essentially the video has the highest quality possible. In my particular case, I'm just going to leave everything the way it is. And uh, then I'm going to select the desktop as the location and uh, let's give it a name. Let's call it Atmos Video or Atmos Test Test. Uh, video and then let's add it to the render queue and let's render it. It should not take particularly long because it's fairly short. Okay, so it already came back. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to render the audio. 
Now, the audio is something that we can render actually in two different ways. We can either export it in the Fairlight page um, through the Fairlight menu option. That is the way we have done it in the past. Or we can also use the Deliver page. Um, that's something that a lot of people don't really know. But uh, if you go into the render settings here and if you scroll right to the, to the very right, you have this audio only option. And if you click on that, you can actually also uh, create the um, master file with this audio only deliver option. So the way to do that is essentially we go into the audio settings and in the audio settings, the format that we're going to choose is uh, wave. And uh, then the codec that we're going to choose is the ADM BWF. That is, that is the uh, master file codec and then we are just going to make sure that in the output track we have Dolby Atmos send patching uh, selected that will essentially then create the master file and uh, that's by the way also a way to create the master file through the deliver page something that we have actually not done in the past so uh, let's do it like that and uh, let's give it a different name uh, let's call that uh, Atmos test audio audio and let's uh, add that to the render queue and let's render that and that will essentially create the Dolby Atmos master file. Now with both the video and the audio exported from DaVinci Resolve we are now ready to go into Media Convert in order to combine them into one video. Now uh, I already talked about Media Convert and how to use it in order to create the quality control deliverable for Dolby Atmos content in the previous video. I'm not going to go through the details on how to set everything up. Uh, if you're interested in how to do that I advise you to watch that video. Uh, I put a link in the description below. So uh, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to upload those and I'm go them going to go through Media Convert in order to combine them. So let's first upload everything. In order to use Media Convert, we need to put the uh, files into a, an S3 bucket. Um, and uh, the bucket that uh, I'm going to use is essentially the same bucket that I also used in the previous video. I called it Michael G. Wagner slash uh, dash Atmos and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload the two files into that particular bucket so let's press the upload button here and uh, let's add files the files we're going to add are on the desktop it's the uh, audio file and the video file so let's open these two and let's upload them um, and let's wait until essentially everything is uploaded so everything is uploaded now, you know, depending on the sizes of your files, this might take a bit. Uh, in my particular case, it actually didn't particularly long, but like maybe 20 seconds or so. Um, so let's go back, uh, you know, kind of we see essentially we have the green status bar, everything is uploaded uh, perfectly. So uh, the next step now is to, uh, to use Media Convert. So let's go back into the services uh, console and let's click on Media Convert. And in Media Convert, uh, you, you see I already kind of did a number of different trials here. Uh, many, many actually failed because I tried different things. So let's, uh, let's create a job. And uh, the job we're going to create is essentially taking the video and adding the audio to it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to specify the input and the input in our particular case is going to be the video file. So let's uh, select the input. Uh, so uh, we click on browse and uh, the bucket that we're going to use is the bucket that we used to upload the, the video file. So let's, let's click on that and the file uh, is essentially the MP4. So let's choose that one. Uh, and uh, then the uh, second thing we need to do is in the audio selector, we now need to tell uh, Media Convert which audio we want to choose. Now, normally you would choose an audio that is already kind of part of that video. Uh, in our particular case, we don't have that. The audio file is separate. So what we need to do is we need to enable the external file selection here. And uh, we're going to browse to our audio file. And that is the uh, same bucket again, and it's this WAV file, so we're going to choose that. And uh, that should actually be everything for the input sections. Now let's go to the output groups, uh, to the output, and so what we're going to do is we're going to add a file group. And uh, uh, the uh, destination, we need to select a destination, and let's uh, put that at the, into the same bucket 
If you watched the previous video, you know that we already we also need to make sure that the permissions are set correctly. So if you have any issues uh, that where you run into Amazon kind of telling you that you, that uh, certain permissions are not set correctly, please go to that video uh, link in the description below. And uh, what we want to do is uh, we are going to essentially let's click, click here uh, into the audio settings and in the audio set I'm not I'm going to leave the video settings uh, pretty much alone. The only thing I need to do here uh, I'm just noticing is I need to put in a bitrate otherwise it's going to complain. So let's say uh, five megabits per second. Uh, so five with, with six zeros. Yeah, that's correct. And uh, so let's go into the audio sesh settings. And in the audio settings, what we want to do is we want to select the Atmos settings. Uh, so here we have Dolby Digital Plus with joint object coding or Atmos. Let's select that one. And the only thing I'm going to change here is I'm going to change the bitrate to 7868 which is sort of the standard for for uh, for Atmos. And then let's put a modifier here. Let's call that uh, final. And uh, that should be everything. So once we have done that, we have we've, uh, essentially selected everything. We create a job and this job essentially will then be submitted to the queue. And uh, depending on the size of your file, this might take a bit. In our particular case, this should actually come back fairly fairly quickly so let's wait until everything is uh, encoded correctly now since this was a very short file it came actually back quite quickly uh, as you can see essentially it took 17 seconds to transcode with three seconds in the queue so it was it came actually back within a minute and uh, that's actually everything i needed to do so uh, the last thing i need to do is i need to download my um, completed file so let's go back into the s3 bucket and uh, let's see if the file is there. So let's, here we have the Michael G. Wagner Atmos bucket. And here we see essentially the final uh, Atmos test video final. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that and download. Uh, here we are, download it. Uh, save that here, yeah, save. So let's check if Media Convert actually did the correct thing. Um, so, um, Let's go to our download folder. Uh, and in the download folder, we now have the Atmos test video final. That was the one that Media Convert created. So let's double click on that. And indeed, we have audio. And it seems to be Atmos audio. Now let's double check that that actually is uh, Atmos audio. And the easiest way to do that is by using a little program that's called Media Info. And I'm going to post the link in the description below. And that will allow us to analyze the information or the type of video or the type of media content that we have. So let's just drop that into the interface here. And that essentially tells us we have one video stream, we have an audio stream, and the audio stream is encoded in Dolby Digital Plus with Dolby Atmos. And if we want, we can actually go a little bit more into detail and kind of check uh, essentially the type of objects, the channel layout and everything. So this seems to be working fine and working well. And this is now something that we can take and play on a consumer device, such as a home theater system. And it should technically play on any device, whether or not it's Atmos capable or not. And if it is Atmos capable, it will give us an immersive audio experience. With that being said, there is one more thing I wanted to uh, show you, and that is that there's actually a second way how you can export uh, Dolby Atmos content with DaVinci Resolve Fairlight. And that is by uh, with the use of the Netflix workflow. So let's go back into our little project. And in the delivery page, what we can do is we can go into the IMF settings or the INF, uh, you know, kind of uh, preset. Uh, and IMF stands for Interoperable Media Format. And that is the uh, format that is used when you create a deliverable for most of the, the streaming platforms, such as Netflix or Disney or any other streaming platform. It's a little bit more of an involved uh, pro um, format. So it's not a, a single file format. It actually creates an entire package. And this package consists of many different components. These components are called essences. I'm uh, not going to go into too much detail here, but what it technically allows us to do is it allows us to create a Netflix deliverable with Dolby Atmos content. 
Uh, now, in order to do that, what we would have to do is we would have to select Net Netflix here. And then we're going to, I'm not going to talk much about the video settings here. In the audio settings, uh, under essentially, we need to make sure that under output track, we select Dolby Atmos Send Patching. And what that will do is it will create a Dolby Atmos master file in the IMF IRB format. And then essentially create an essence uh, with that uh, into the interoperable media format. Now that sounds very promising in principle because you now have a deliverable that not only includes the video but also the audio in Dolby Atmos master file format. So you could conceivably take that IMF package and turn that into a flat file uh, that you can play on a PC or home theater system. Uh, however, I was not, never able to uh, successfully actually do that. All the tools that I used, um, uh, whether it was Media Convert or any other tool, it always threw an error as soon as it reached the uh, audio. Uh, it appears that uh, the audio format that uh, DaVinci Resolve uses when exporting IMF files with Dolby Atmos content is not compatible with most IMF tools out there. Um, however, I keep trying. So, uh, so maybe at some point I figure out a way how to do that. And uh, by the way, if anybody out there knows how to turn a Netflix deliverable from DaVinci Resolve Fairlight, one with Dolby Atmos content uh, into a flat file, I would love to hear about that and because I, I'm really curious. Now, uh, having said that, it's also not that difficult to just uh, convert the, or just kind of split the, uh, the video in a video part and an audio part and then use Media Convert to merge them again. It's a very straightforward process. So if you have any video with Dolby Atmos content, easy to do, follow the steps that are outlined below. And that's really everything I wanted to, uh, to say. Uh, if you have any questions, please use a comment section below or feel free to join my Discord server. There's a very active community there, especially when it gets to the point of Dolby Atmos. And with that being said, I'll see you at the next video.